in Sacramento football. I've worked with Gavin in a completely different industry. Started a company, written a book, ran a marathon, jumped into a plane. Uh, and that's last, last week. <laughs> just last you know, week. Become, working on Sky, coming in the, in the media, you know, doing, working on keynote speaking for companies. And it's not, it's not a coincidence, it's just because I'm thinking completely different than those lads coming into football and going, what am I going to do with my football career jumper? So tell, tell us how, how important you think mindset is in terms of your performance. Yeah, I think it's it's massive. You know, I I always felt that I understood quite a lot about um, you know what goes on inside my head. But you know, the, the session with Think Pro tonight challenged a lot of my beliefs, and you know, it's changed a lot of them as well. And I'm I'm excited to learn more. So, Leila, how do you think this might help the players from Food Camp? I think it's important that they focus their attitude in a more positive way because I've learned that I sometimes approach a task just from what you've taught us this evening with a bit of a negative way of thinking about it. So it's good that they go into their games thinking about things with a more positive approach and I think they'd all definitely benefit from that. Um, why do you think maybe football and especially you know, with, with an agency, so many players that you come across I'm guessing don't have this kind of mindset? Um, because they haven't been introduced to it, I don't think, and it's all about stepping outside of their comfort zone and stepping outside the box and thinking of a new way of developing, and I don't think that that's on a, like, is given to them on a plate. Uh, so. Why do you think other players don't really embrace the whole mindset and psychology? Because there's help out there, but a lot of players don't really utilise it. Yeah, I think it's probably sort of very old-fashioned ways in, in football. A lot of people are set in their ways and are probably scared to change. and. Uh, do what you always do and you'll get what you always got and I say tonight I'm really really happy and uh, I found a lot of new uh, new, new routines that I'm going to try and uh, will, will make me think positively and I say hopefully have a, a positive impact on my performances. And whenever we turn, talk about attitude and you're thinking and focus, what might you do differently after the session today? Uh, well, my attitude sometimes I wake up and I think oh, I'll train it today yeah. but obviously after tonight um, it showed me that um, living what a lot of kids want to do and I'm living my dream at the moment so now it's going to put me in more positive form. I paid a million pound to a bank account in a 10 bedroom house but I wasn't given this today. Is that house and money you don't have any use to me now? Now I'm not saying we shouldn't like those things, I'm not saying you shouldn't pursue material things, it's entirely up to you whatever you want to pursue in your life because I can, I know what I value and you know what you value and go for it in whatever way but probably the thing, the single most important thing, which is way more valuable than any of that paraphernalia, is that.